Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm a product manager here at Pure Storage, focusing on our VMware and cloud offerings. So I'm going to continue this Site Recovery Manager series by talking about another replication topology that we offer up for our customers to provide the flexibility that you need for your disaster recovery scenarios. So we've talked about our asynchronous replication. We've talked about the combination of our asynchronous replication and our active-active replication. What if I just want to do active-active replication? What if I want SRM to control that? Well, we have an offering for that too. So our active-active replication is called active cluster. And with active cluster, you have a flash array in one failure domain and another flash array in another failure domain. These could be different racks. They could be different sides of the data center. They could be different data centers. They could be different cities. The main requirement is that it needs to be 11 milliseconds round trip time or less between the two. With Site Recovery Manager, how does active active storage work? Well, in an active active storage world, a volume on this array that is protected is protected by both. And so this volume not only exists here, but also exists here at the same time. You can read and write from this volume on either arrays at the same time. It's basically like I have additional paths to this volume on this array, multiple paths from two arrays. So how SRM interacts with this is interesting. Traditionally, there's a failover. The storage is brought down, the storage is brought up with traditional SRM failover. This is not how it works with active cluster. Instead, the storage is already there. It's already available on both sides. What does SRM do? Well, there are a bunch of VMs on this data store. And when you want to fail over, what happens is these VMs are vMotioned non-disruptively from the hosts in this data center to the hosts in this data center. Because the storage is already there, it's the same storage, the storage doesn't need to move. There is a coordinated cross V center V motion moving these workloads without interruption from one site to another site. And this is provided and made possible by the active cluster or active active replication across these flash arrays. If it is a disaster and this site is brought down, the VMs are simply just rebooted on this side because they're already there. They just need to be registered in that vCenter by SRM and booted up. If you're doing a test, a copy of the volume will be brought up and the VMs will be powered on in the bubble network to make sure the recovery plan, the ordering is correct. And so this provides not only the ability to have non-disruptive failover, but also non-disruptive test failover using Site Recovery Manager and Pure Flash Array Active Cluster. Thank you.